All right, guys, what is happening? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you guys that don't know me and you're new here, my name is Simon and this channel is called Race That Car. And the reason for that is, is because I'm showing you all how to build your very first race car. We did race this absolutely beast of a car, this 525 wheel horsepower 2019 model uh, Mark V Supra. This car's highly modified, track suspension, full track setup, big top mount turbo, ethanol fuel blend, vent to let all the heat out, custom made exhaust, and it did have race seats and six point harnesses when we were racing it. When we raced that car in Time Attack here in Queensland the other year, we won, all right? And to be quite honest with you, it was just far too easy. The car itself, Toyota and BMW collaboration, did a fantastic job on the car, and it was so well balanced that I found it hard not to win. So what I've done is I've decided that I'm gonna go a little bit old school, make my life a little bit harder. We've got a manual transmission in this 1992 Celica that came with a 2.2 liter engine that's only around about 100 horsepower, so it's very underpowered. And we're gonna be building this car into a about a 200 horsepower, 1,000 kilo track car. So, because we wanna make it 1,000 kilos, because we want 200 horsepower per ton, we are gonna to need to do a lot of weight reduction because this car weighs around about 14, uh, 40, yeah, 1,400 kilos um, as it rolled off the showroom floor. So, I'm gonna turn the camera around for you. And you can see that the interior is relatively stripped out. There's a lot of shit in here at the moment, there's a lot of junk. What I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna clean all this crap out, make some space for me, and then I'm gonna rip out the dash uh, because I need to repair that because it's lifted over here. I'm gonna repair that and then make a fiberglass dash as well. I need to take the steering wheel off to remove the dash. And then behind the dash, I'm gonna get rid of all of the ECU and all of the wiring and everything that you can see down there. I'm gonna rip all of that out because this car is gonna be run on a Haltech Elite ECU um, and I don't need any of the stock wiring, any of the stock computer, any of the stock speedo or anything like that. Uh, I'm gonna make my own custom wiring loom, which I am gonna show you guys how to do. But first, let's do some weight reduction and remove that dash and all the unnecessary wiring.
right, so 10 kilos, a little bit over actually, because I didn't weigh everything that I took out. There are a little other few pieces, I should turn the camera view, that I didn't get. So like this, but that's like, you know, like 500 grams, you know, this, that, this. So that there's probably like another uh, kilo, kilo and a half. So, and I weighed 91 and a half as you saw, and then 91 point, uh, 101.9, sorry. So just over 10 kilos of crap ladder wrapped around me and weighed while I jumped on the scales and then everything else down there on the floor. Maybe it's another two kilos, maybe. So let's say 12 kilos ripped out from inside. And you can see we're getting there slowly. So um, the factory dash, I'm gonna be having the top part of the dash um, still in there. I'm going to repair that. I might make a fiberglass one. Leave a comment in the section below if you think I should make a fiberglass one. And if you want to see how to make a fiberglass dash. So I've still got the wiring there for the power windows <laughs> and the electric mirrors. Same on the other side. I'm going to keep those. Um, and then the wiring there that goes all the way down the back of the car for the tail lights. Um, and everything else back because guys I need the lights for the race okay for the the time attack series I need to have working tail lights I need to have working side lights um, and it's just gonna be nice to have the electric windows just to roll those down I could go a full perspex window with a little hatch to open it off but then um, here in Queensland when I enter Queensland time attack uh, I will be entering into a different class because I no longer have factory glass. So what I'm doing is I'm really, really pushing the boundaries of the rules. The rules are I need factory top half of dash and I need factory glass. I can have a roll cage. I can have an aftermarket seat. I don't have to have carpet. I need to have the headliner, so I'm leaving that in. But literally everything else that I don't need, the factory computers, the factory wiring loom, all that garbage, gone. Heater matrix, gone. Air vents, gone. Everything. Because, as I told you guys, we raised Mark V, 2019 model Supra, weighs in at around about 1,500 kilos, um, and it's 500 horsepower, 520 horsepower. So if we get the Celica to around about 200 horsepower at 1,000 kilos, we're almost the same horsepower per tonne almost the same horsepower per ton as the 2020 Mark V Supra, or 2019 mine is. Mine's a 2019 model. That's what it says on the build plate. So, gonna clean this mess up, edit this video for you guys, and then make another one showing you how to repair a dashboard so it looks all fancy. Guys, that is me for today. As always, if you like the content, if you want to learn how to build a race car, please like and subscribe with the button down below and hit the bell to get notifications so you don't miss any other future uploads. Peace out.